How's it going everyone? And this video is going to be about five tips for riding around the city streets. So I'm here in Pacific Beach. I just got off the highway and um, I'm going to go ride around down by the beach and offer some tips that I've learned. Number one, you have to plan ahead. So right now that light just turned green. So I could be pretty safe to assume it's not going to turn yellow by the time I get there. The light just up ahead just turned green. But that's a pretty far away way, so I might expect that to turn yellow. So you look really, really far ahead and look at these types of lights, right? If it's been red for a while, by the time you get there it might be green, so plan for that. Always looking ahead, looking in your mirrors, making sure you know who's behind you. Look what the traffic situation is like. So that one is green, but the next one is red. So not the lane split to get to the front of the line. Um, so I'll make it through this one for sure. I'm not gonna make it through that one. Okay, how's the traffic looking? Okay, I need to switch lanes, go over here. Is it wide enough to lane split? Okay, I can go all the way up to the top. So planning ahead, looking ahead. Every intersection, look both ways just like I did, just in case somebody wants to decide to go through it. And again, keep it on the same principle, the light's green. It's been green since I noticed, so it might turn yellow. You can also look at the little crosswalk signs on either side. There's a countdown with the red hand is up. That's a good indication it's about ready to change as well, so just be ready for that. Number two, tip number two for city riding. Always, like you should be ready for anything, right? Expect the unexpected. Just because you think something may happen or it's been the same way every single time, anything can happen at any moment. Somebody might just decide they don't see you and switch lanes. So be ready to swerve, be ready to stop, be ready to slow down, be ready to speed up. Be ready for a car to do something bizarre. I like to say, I imagine every car, is, every car driver is drunk. So if I think this Jeep right now, this guy's been drinking, well, I'm gonna expect craziness to come out of him, right? So I'm just gonna accelerate, make sure I get next to him so he can see me. And I'm just gonna be aware. But I always assume every car is drunk. That way, I don't know what to expect. Light just turned yellow than red. The first thing I did was look in the mirror. How close is this guy to me? While I'm braking, is this guy braking? Is this guy paying attention to what's going on, right? And I'm looking in the mirror right now. As you can see, I got the front brake on. Just hold myself still, but I'm on the throttle ready to go. Just in case something happens. Looking at the track, at the traffic around me. Situational awareness, right? Anything can happen, plan ahead, situational awareness is number two. Number three, this is city streets, right? So it's not like you're doing cornering techniques like you're out in the twisty mountain road. So I'm not going to take this left-hand turn outside, inside, outside, because that doesn't make sense here on the city. Those cornering techniques apply for on-ramps, sometimes off-ramps, sometimes in twisty mountain roads most of the time. But for city streets like this, I'm not thinking about that whatsoever. I'm not thinking about outside, inside, outside. For example, I'm gonna take a left right here. I'm not gonna start way over here on the outside. That's ridiculous, there's people behind me. I get way over here close to the curb, make sure everything is good. I look at the terrain, look at the ground, see what the environment looks like. That's what I wanna do. It's kind of like dirt riding and what like um, Gary says at Moto Ventures Dirt First Level 2. There's three things to do. So you look at the terrain, you look at your environment, you know, there's a pothole, there's a gap in the road, there's gravel, there's oil. So first you plan, your, um, you look at the environment, look at the ground you're riding on, look at the terrain, terrain reading, and then you pick a line. Where do you want your tires to go? Like pick a line best that avoids a bunch of craziness you don't want to go through, and then apply the right technique. So three things. Terrain reading, pick a line, and apply the right technique. Uh, that's something you could do for any bike everywhere, but especially relates to city riding and uh, off-road riding in the dirt as well, because there's rocks and ruts and all kinds of stuff. So there's that. Number four, you're in the city streets, right? So cars are gonna be backing up. There's gonna be kids playing. There's gonna be bicyclists. There's gonna be all different kinds of obstacles you most likely won't see too often if you're out on the highway or out on the twisty mountain roads, right? So right now there could be five people right here on bicycles. There could be people waiting across the street. There could be scooter riders, bicyclists. I'm down here by the beach. There's always joggers everywhere. So have, an, have more of awareness and look out for people. There's gonna be a whole lot more people out in the city streets 
people walking across the street to go into the barber shop or get out of the car or go down to the beach and go surf or whatever it is people going to work people coming out of their cars uber drivers so expect a whole lot more people just everywhere crosswalks right it all ties into pretty much situational awareness you could summarize this whole video into that two words situational awareness but i thought i'd break it down a little bit more and of course it doesn't matter what bike you're on i'm on my uh, brand new uh, BMW scooter, but of course this would apply no matter what bike. Alright, I'm going to take a left here just for fun. So again, I don't just hog up the lane, I get the heck over out of the way, make sure everything is good, pick a line, apply the right technique, etc. Last one is parking. So where are you going to park? How are you going to park? So I made a video about how to park already, but sir, you put on your blinker. Well, that's the driveway, can't park there. Uh, let me park right... I could have parked there, but I didn't see it in time. I'll go one, one more block ahead. So for parking, actually I'll park right there. So for parking, it's best to back your bike up into the spot and have your rear tire touch the curbing. So I'm, I, mean, I want to park here, I pull over to it, and then make sure there's no one behind you. And this is what I do, watch this. So I go forward, go on the front brake, and as the bike rebounds, it gives me that li little push to get the bike rolling backwards. And I slowly go on the brake, slowly go on the brake until my rear tire hits the curb. Turn off the bike, side stands down, put on the center stand, whatever you have, whatever you've got, and park your bike. So you want to be in a place to where make sure the car in front of you, if you're parked between two cars like this, they have enough room to back up that they're not going to hit you. And you're not just, if, there's, if their car is really tight, don't get so incredibly close to where they're going to hit you. you know, right? Don't be an a-hole. Give people a little bit of room. But the good thing about bikes, we could fit in narrow spots, but that doesn't mean fit, if there's only one foot gap and the car only has one foot to back up, don't take that one foot, right? Common sense should apply, but sometimes it's not that common these days. Anyway, those are my five riding tips for riding out in the street. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. And check out my other videos for more tips. I got a whole bunch of playlists to help you navigate through all the videos. Talk to you guys later.